So in this video, I'll show you how you can save and load uh, data in the flowchart. And that is different from saving and loading the layout of the flowchart. So um, this is similar to the high cocoa clustering that I'd shown for um, like sort of sorting the tuning curves uh, of your cells. And let's just take the output of the F cluster node. And like one thing we can do, of course, is look at that in a heat map. Like look at uh, the tuning curves and dendrogram in the heat map, and we can save uh, you know this plot. But you can also save uh, the output data of the F cluster node. And this is actually valid for any um, at any point uh, in the flowchart, almost any point. There are certain nodes which you cannot save the output of, such as uh, linkage matrices. But for almost every node in Mesmerize, you can save the output and open that up later at any point. And the way you can think of that is, uh, so when you save this here, it is, and then reload it, it's as if all of these nodes that preceded the save were are connected to a load node. So I'll save that here, for example. And if you save um, these files, well, they're called transmission files, into the TRNs directory of your uh, project, it makes them much easier to organize. So let's say this is called F cluster output. And click apply, and that's done. Okay, let's get rid of this. And just to demonstrate something perhaps a bit simpler, let's say, just make a simple plot. So this is what, right, the raw df over f looks like. And maybe let's say, um, Say let's z score that. Well, it's not it's actually not gonna look too different. Um, let us apply a butterworth filter just to show some difference. plot that okay so we can actually so I mean this plot cannot be saved so we can actually save the output of this save let's say buttered output Okay, and let's open a new flowchart to show you what these look like, or I mean, how you can load this data in a new flowchart. So, um, yeah, it's important that uh, like if you're reopening Mesmerize, that when you reopen it, you also open your project that these files are associated with. And then you go to that node, load file. And as I mentioned, if you save your these files in the TRNs directory of your project. It is much easier to organize and they will also show up right here. Oh, I actually forgot to save the Butterworth one. Forgot to check that button. Yeah. Okay, let's actually make that note again. Uh, there. So, let's open this. So, as you can see, no, that's all that data from that we had saved from that previous flowchart, and you can actually view the history of that as well. So, if you use this node, you can view the data frame and the history in that. We double-click this. 
this so we can see that this that this data comes from a transmission that has been spawned from the project data frame and then it was then z scored and then it went through the butterworth filter and what i have shown you with the history uh, view data node is basically the same information that is shown if you were to like load this over here and either view you know the same information here or if you were to open an analysis graph it's the same thing okay we have that other more complex file which went through hypercal clustering so let's load that of cluster output and if we open that in a heat map say so as you can see that's the same data that we have saved and likewise you can see all the parameters that were used over here and you can get the analysis graph for the parameter history as well so when we do this, you know, load file and open that file we had saved, it is basically giving you the output of everything that was done before it was saved. So it's sort of as if this was attached to basically the entire end of this. Okay, and lastly, you can save um, a flowchart layout. And you can do that through here, save. And if you save your flowchart layouts in the flowcharts directory of your project, it becomes much easier to organize. Say. And you have to end them with .fc. Okay, and they will show up over here in our project flowcharts. So let's say, let's close Mesmerize. Oh. So let us open that project. We have that here, and if we double click it, it will actually run that entire flowchart here. Well, actually, most of it. Some things like stimulus tuning is actually um, not saved, but it, it saves uh, the layout of your flowchart, and it will also run it if, um, if possible. Um, however, um, saving the layout of the flowchart um, will not always save the uh, parameters for each of these nodes. That's not always possible. Um, however, you're really in, if you want to save data, you are supposed to use the save node and save the TRN files in the uh, TRN uh, directory of your project. So these over here. So Keep in mind, so this is for the save node and these are for saving data and, you know, saving the flowchart layout, which, you know, shows up here is if on, is only for saving uh, the layout. The, these two have to be kept uh, separate. Okay. Uh, 